Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we're going to upgrade my 200 mil front rotor to a 220. Uh, it's kind of a thing lately, everyone seems to be doing this. And as a heavier rider, I'm always looking for more braking power. So whether that's immediately upgrading to four piston brakes or always going to 200 mil, but now that there's 220, let's uh, give it a shot. So this is my current setup right now. We have the 200 mil rotors with the code for piston brake, RC, not the RSC. So let's take these ones off and then we'll go from there. So for installation, you're gonna need the 220 mil rotor, a 40 millimeter uh, mounting hardware, Loctite for the screws, and then a five mil, yeah, five mil Allen key and a T25 Torx. So first things first, let's get the wheel off. Next up, let's take off the 200 mil rotor. That one is stripped. I'm gonna have to go take care of that. So before installing the 220 mil rotor, I'm gonna give the hub a good clean, just make sure there's no grime or gunk or anything so that we, nothing's gonna stop it from being screwed down properly. All right, so here's our 220 mil rotor. Let's take it out, take a look. So as you can see, it is quite a bit bigger than the 200, obviously 20 mils bigger. Hopefully this gives us a lot more stopping power and modulation and hopefully it doesn't heat up as much because there's more surface area for those long descents. Um, luckily living out west, we have a lot of long descents so this should come in handy. So here's the final product. Uh, don't mind this, I'm missing a bolt right now. I went and bought one of those today. It's all good, I'll install that in a second. So yeah, here's the mounting hardware. So you're gonna have these two bolts here. That connects the 40 mil spacer to the actual suspension. And then the caliper is bolted onto that. I did a lot of research and I was a little confused because the bolts actually stick through the mounting hardware a bit and I was a little concerned, but it seems to be completely okay. Everything's lined up. I have a little bend in the rotor right now, as you can hear, but other than that, it's working perfect. Uh, super excited to go try this on the trail. As a heavier guy, you know, I'm gonna be riding around 190 this year. So any bit of extra braking power always comes in handy. Um, they're massive dinner plates, they're huge. I'll show you comparison. Well, I showed you earlier in the video of comparison. Yeah, super excited to give these a shot. All right, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Yeah, I think more riders, especially guys like me are you know, pushing 200 pounds. You know, when I started this channel, it was 240 pounds, so you want as much braking power as possible, especially consistent braking power, because when you're doing you know, some of these longer descents of 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, um, your brakes heat up like crazy and they just get super spongy and they don't, you don't get that consistent lever pull. So this should hopefully help a lot with that. I do that with the uh, metal brake pads and a ton, a ton of grip while well, stopping power. All right, so once again, thanks you for watching everyone. Leave any comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you like this style of stuff. Um, I do a lot of work on my own bike. I don't know. I just refuse to pay for a shop to work on my bike if I can do it myself. So I'm going to be doing hopefully some more videos like this of giving you guys tips on how to work on your bike at home. All right. Take care. Everyone.